I'm Jake with Arrow Building and today we're at our Prairie House project. This is a custom home that we're building with Steve Basic of Steve Basic Architects out of Reading, Massachusetts. And this home's actually here in Columbia, Missouri. The reason we're standing in the bathroom, we're actually in the master bathroom, is today we want to talk about whole home ventilation and the difference between a traditional bath fan and an ERV like we're using on this home. So if you think about an airtight house, you have this enclosure, this separation from the outside, and if we can build it as tight as possible, all the air that's inside the house stays inside and all the air that's outside stays outside. Well, what happens when you flip on that switch and you turn on the bathroom fans? If you have a leaky house, that fan just depressurizes the house. So it pulls air from the inside, dumps it to the outside. That's what you want it to do. Except for the byproduct of that is that it causes a leak someplace else in the house. It causes a window to leak, it causes a door to leak, it causes a threshold or a sill plate or a can light, it causes something. So it's effectively taking the air that you don't want in the house that's stinky or moist or humid and dumping it outside, but it's also bringing in unregulated air from the outside as well. So that's a strange trade-off to make. And if you have a very well air sealed house like this house, and you flip on that bathroom fan and there isn't an opportunity for the envelope to leak someplace else, that fan can't actually draw the air that it needs to. So what we do is we use an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator or an enthal enthalpy recovery ventilator in place of a bath fan. So you still have a port, there's a port on the ceiling here, but it's not a bath fan and it doesn't look like a bath fan. It looks kind of uh, HVAC-like or esque but it's not exactly a, a bath, traditional bath fan as most people would think. So let me take you and show you the mechanical room and we'll talk about how an ERV works. Now that we're in the mechanical room, we can talk about how the ERV works and why. So by depressurizing the house with your normal bath fan, you cause leaks. So the answer to those leaks is pressurized ventilation. So we're gonna bring air in at the same time that we push air out and we're going to make those balanced. We could do that with just two bath fans running in opposite directions, one sucking in and one blowing out, but that air that we were bringing in on that second added bath fan would be outside air that is not tempered and not filtered and carrying whatever is outside with it. The ERV solves that. So think of this as just a second bath fan running the opposite direction, except for fancy. So we have an enthalpy core here, our old stinky air from inside the house goes through it and to the outside and the fresh air comes through it and to the inside and those two streams cross but they don't mix there's a thin like membrane material between them and it allows us to steal that thermal energy and then you'll also notice that we're two-stage filters here so that air that's coming in gets robbed of its pollutants and some of its thermal energy if it's if it's hot we can make it cooler to match the air-conditioned house or the vice versa. So we can steal the energy off the inside air that's heat that we've already paid for and dump it onto here. This unit, a couple weeks ago, it was 63 degrees inside. It was 30 something outside and the air that was coming in this port was somewhere in the high 50s. Like we were getting almost all of our energy back. It's an extremely efficient unit. It really does solve the problem of the leaky bath fan. This unit runs on switches and it also runs on a timer. So if you're here all weekend and you don't use the bathroom for some reason, we don't have to worry about it, the air inside the house not being uh, fresh or, or exchanged with outside air. This unit allows us to build a more, more tight air seal on a house and still know that we're going to be safe. Stay tuned for more videos from the Prairie House Project and don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Thanks for watching.